Hi folks, welcome once again to Gaz Labs. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not an instructional video. This is just the story of me attempting to adjust our repeater um, filter. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing I've done, I'll be honest. Um, I'm using the mini, uh, sorry, the mini, v it is the mini VNA, um, tiny. Now, this is actually a really useful device. I've, like I said before, I've had this for quite a while and it's a bit jerky. It's kind of, it, it sort of, everything is sort of like that, if you understand what I mean. And when you turn the little screw, it sort of stopped and then it jumps to the next sort of uh, test. And then it's like doing a test every sort of second or so. So it's a, it is a bit slow and ponderous. So you kind of have to just tiny little thing and then try and work out which which filter or which cavity is actually doing what on there. So it isn't the easiest thing I've done. However, I've managed to shift it all along and I've tried to keep the everything in the same sort of place. You know, if I've turned one sort of three turns, I've turned the other one three turns, or not three turns, it's probably less than a quarter of a turn, but I've done them all equally so that I try and keep them all timed up. Now, interestingly, I think this was tuned the wrong way around the first time. So that's part of an issue when you pick up secondhand stuff you don't know what's happened to it so it was kind of tuned the wrong way around and um, so that was a bit unusual however it does kind of make a bit of sense now um, I'm learning as I go which is the important thing um, and I've done both sides so now I think we're on to the next sort of test um, I, you know I don't think it's going to sort of do any damage or anything like that if we start running some tests so what I might do now is I might try um, a couple of cheap transceivers and just see what uh, what uh, comes of it. So if again, if any of you guys have any suggestions on how to, um, to to test this and maybe you know perfect this just a little bit more, I am all ears. I tell you, um, and uh, but this is good fun. I've I've kind of enjoyed it and uh, I've been playing with this now for a couple of hours and it's just time's flown. So yeah, it is good fun. Um, but anyway, that's, um, yeah, I've got it on about, yeah, it's four, three, it's four, three, eight, five, one, five ish there. Um, marker one. Um, but if I take it out of there, what should we do with it? Um, let's minimize that and open this up. So I need, um, yeah, five, one, five, I've got it to, and now I need five, one, two, five. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue at that. And the other side is just about seven something. So I've got four, three, zero, seven, and it's about sort of central. And I've got the, you know, I've got the least bit of um, loss at the top, about sort of five or so megs out. And that's kind of some of the advice I've been reading. Um, and then it's about on, I think on the low side, it's about minus 72 dB. And that's as much as I can get it. Um, however, this guy here, um, this is uh, HB9 AMO, he seems to, on his two meter version, he's managed to get now minus 90 and a much neater um, sort of uh, tucked end down the bottom here. I mean, worst case scenario is I'll just have to ring up Procom and just get them to adjust it for us. Um, but, I, you know, it's not. I like to learn a few things so I'm learning as I go I've never done this before like I say and it's been a bit of a thing so but this is actually quite a useful document um, it goes into some detail just how to tune it and um, it, it, it gave me some really good ideas how to connect the um, the VNA it also um, informed me that I have to terminate the other end I thought I did but I didn't know whether I should short it or or whether or not it should be a load and all the instructions are here which is really really good um the software is a bit limited i think there are some better software packages that they're probably paid for um and there is potential if i had another uh, vna i could have two going and i can actually look at both sides at the same time but you know and i can set the whole lot up um you know that way with um with there's a particular type of um joiner in the middle which um, you can you can you can do it so some form of port, but I think we start to get a little expensive, and I and that's the idea. We're trying to do this cheap on a budget. This is something that you could borrow, beg, borrow, and steal from the radio club to actually do this sort of stuff. 
anyway i'm going to call that one it this is the little update just to let you know what i'm doing and um yeah so there you have it so i'll put it back to uh to that on the close and um yeah and if you've not seen this software before um this is uh, quite quite interesting um software this is um the bna software for um antenna checking antennas and all that sort of stuff and it gives you lots and lots of information quite a lot of which i don't understand and um so yeah but it's, it's good research tool anyway thanks for watching see you soon